We're going to go ahead and get to a news alert. South Carolina is ready to carry out the death penalty for the first time in more than a decade. And back to that breaking news we're covering this morning. Alec Murdoch guilty of killing his wife and son. And this morning he will be sentenced. So after deliberating for only three hours, the jury determined Alec Murdoch brutally murdered his son Paul and then turned the gun on his wife and shot her multiple times. The prosecutors say the verdict is an example that no one is above the law and thanked investigators for their work in that case. The judge also had a message of gratitude for those jurors. President Biden stands behind his decision to shoot down the balloon that caught the attention of people all throughout the Carolinas. Texas authorities have identified the person who opened fire at a megachurch in Houston. The woman had a criminal background and a known history of mental illness. Officials say she had her seven-year-old son with her when she walked into the church and started shooting. We're getting to a news alert out of North Carolina this morning. That's where there's growing concern for students and staff at UNC Chapel Hill after they went on lockdown due to alerts of an armed and dangerous person. Now this marks the second time this has happened since the start of the semester. UNC police issued an emergency notification yesterday afternoon about an armed person. Officers were on the lookout for a suspect who was seen waving a gun at the campus bagel shop over a reported employment-related conflict. Students and staff were advised to shelter in place and go inside immediately. The good news is no shots were fired and that man was arrested. The lockdown is the second in just three weeks. If you remember back in August, a doctoral student at the school shot and killed an associate professor in the Department of Applied Physical Science. The suspect is now charged with first degree murder. If you take a listen right now, silence. That's because I-26 is closed. You can see it behind me. This is eastbound and westbound, not a car in sight. Well, that's pretty much what we're seeing is these waters that continues to rise. I mean, just look where I'm standing. A mom and her two children having to be pulled from a back window of this house that's behind me right here. I'm actually going to step out of frame so you can get a look at kind of what's going on. But I just spoke to Fire Chief Charlie King not too long ago, and he was telling me, don't let the outside of this house deceive you. Take a look right here. I have this giant branch. I can't even lift it. It's so big very tall but this is some of the debris that you're going to find on these roadways here you do your tricks upside down um how did you get started in all of this incredible <laughs> how do you feel i'm so glad <laughs> you survived I Come on. Oh, Christy Wait, Fox Carolina News. Yeah! I'm so proud of the team and how we played. Just throughout the whole season, it was absolutely amazing. They, they just knew that they'd won a national championship, so pretty special. An achievement that's a big deal for this young team. We've only been competing for six seasons. In the space of six years, we've grown up from the team that barely had won a, one game in our very first season to now going 23-1 and one and you know finish, finishing with a national championship. The Roland Tigers beat the Illinois Hawks 29-21 to 21 to capture that coveted title. The entire time, I was like, I have, I'm having fun. But I'm scared if we don't win, because I'm like, what if we don't win? What if that happens? And um, I, I didn't cry. My eyes watered, but I started to. Set a pit. All right. Got to go hard. I'll stand there. I'll a pick for you. Our players are all um, have a lower limb disability. These kids obviously don't have the opportunity to play for their local school. They don't necessarily have the opportunity to play for their church or any other league. And so adaptive sports really gives them that opportunity to um, be a part of a team, to play a sport, have all of the great benefits of participating in a competitive sport. It's more than just a basketball team. It's family. I absolutely love my coaches. I love my team. I wouldn't trade my team for the world. 
A team that continues to overcome adversity on and off the court as they prepare for their next season. Just getting over the hump of most of the starters are leaving, so like everybody's having to work into getting better. What can I do next year that will make us better? And while their roster may change, the goal stays the same. Win another championship, I guess. Roll Tigers! <laughs> Reporting Christy Waite, Fox Carolina News.